The entries in a 3x3 array include all the digits from 1 through 9 arranged so that the entries in every row and column are in increasing order. How many such arrays are there? Well, the 1 has to be here and the 9 has to be here. Then we need to place the 2. There are two cases for the 2. We can put the 2 here or here. And since these configurations are completely symmetrical, we can assume um, that the 2 is here. And then we'll multiply the number of solutions by 2. Next, we need to place the 3. So the 3 can either go here or here. These are the only two positions. So we need to consider these cases separately. So let's draw these two subcases. All right, so now, subcase number one, subcase number two, three here, three here. Now let's consider where the three is here. Where can the four be? Well, there's only one position for the four, and it has to be here. So next, we need to place the five. Um, well, the five can either has to be either here. Uh, or here. This only two position for the five. So let's draw the two subcases. Case subcase one, subcase two. Five is here. Five is here. Now, if the five is here, where can we put the six? Well, the six in this case can be either here or here. If the 6 is here, then 7 has to be here, 8 has to be here, only one case. If the 6 is here, then we have two choices, 7, 8, or 8, 7, like this. Um, so this gives us a total of 1 case plus 2 equals 3 cases for this case. Now here, for the 6, the 6, there's only one position, the 6 has to be here. And therefore, the 7 can be 7, 8, like that or it can be 8, 7, like that. So that's two cases here. So this case up there gives us a total of 3 plus 2 um, equals 5 total cases. Now let's move on to this case here and let's place the 4. There are uh, several positions for the 4 available. There's this case can work, um, or this case, or this case. Um, so let's consider the various subcases. There are three subcases. Subcase number one, subcase number two, subcase number three. All right. Now let's assume here that the uh, four is in this cell. Uh, in here the 4 would be here, in here the 4 would be here. Now if we look at this configuration here, we see that it's completely uh, equivalent to the number, to the position here. The, 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 shape, the shape of the, the numbers here is the same as your shape here. So the number of cases for this case is also going to be 5, the same as this case here. Similarly for this, the shape of the numbers is the same, symmetrical, so it's going to also be 5. So now we just need to consider this case, the middle case here. Now where can we put the 5? The 5 can be either in this position here or in this position here. And this, this is completely symmetrical here. So um, let's assume the 5 is here. Okay. Now um, we'll just have to multiply the number of solutions by 2 for this case. So where can we put the 6? The 6 can be either here or here. Um, now if the 6 is here, that's the 7 and 8 have to be here. Um, if the 6 is here, then we have two choices, 7, 8 like this, or 8, 7 like that. So this gives us a, sol a total of 1 plus 2 equals 3 choices, and then we need to do, because we, the symmetric case with the 5 can be also here, right? So we need to do, um, the, really, this is a, a total of six cases. 
So now let's add up all our cases. We have 5 here. We have um, 5, 5, and 6. So that's a total of 21 cases. And remember, we had the symmetrical case where the 2 is, uh, is here as well. Instead of being here, we put the 2 here. So the total is 21 times 2 equals 42.